Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a bedroom refresh and I'm really, really excited about it because my bedroom hasn't been changed up in a little while and there's just a couple of things in there that are lacking my style kind of input in them and also just really uncomfortable things. So I'm going to be replacing some major items today, including my mattress and my pillow, which I am extremely fussy about and I really just like to have a very good high quality pillow because if you've ever had any back or neck problems and things you would know that sleeping on a really beautiful firm kind of latexy sort of pillow is the absolute best thing for you so I'm gonna be doing those two big items today and I also want to completely restyle my bedside table and I've picked up some really really cute home decor for that as well so I thought we could do that together and maybe I will also show you guys the recipe for my oatmeal cookies because I made them I think in a vlog the other week and I'm pretty sure I didn't go through the ingredients and I had quite a few questions about it. So I thought we could do a little bit of cozy baking and make the apartment smell really beautiful with the fresh cookies. And then I'll jump straight into my room and get through all of these little bits and pieces. So hope you guys are really enjoying coming along for the day. Grab yourself a cup of tea and let's get started. So this is my bedside table at the moment and it is looking a little bit plain and tired. It just has this old Kmart Marmo lamp on it and not much else so i was trying to keep it really minimalistic and clean but i'm kind of thinking i would really love to decorate it up a little bit more now and maybe get like a jewelry dish or a picture and i have also most excitingly got a new lamp from freedom so really excited to show you guys the little bits and pieces of home decor that i've got for this so that lamp i think has had its day so i'm going to take that off and sell it on facebook marketplace and then we can get to restyling with the new bits and pieces these are a couple of the items that I am thinking to style up on the bedside table over there. So first things first, if you live in Brisbane, you will know this place, but the Bowery Bar. I actually stole this menu back in uni days, so I'm very sorry. Uni Emma was a very naughty girl, got a little bit drunk and thought that she would take the bar menu of her favorite bar. So it does make for a cool piece of decor. The other thing I finally got my hands on is this glazed vase from Kmart and that's what it is actually called, the reactive angular vase. And I've been trying to get this for weeks. I ended up having to order it online and get it delivered, but I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I think it was only $6 and I'm thinking to put some devil's ivy in the top of it. I also got this beautiful candle from H&M. So it just says dry hay and I don't know if I'll ever end up lighting it. It does smell absolutely beautiful, but I kind of just want it more as a piece of decor. And the other thing that I got was this, which is a faux shell dish. It is part of the new range at the moment at Kmart, and I just thought that could be really beautiful to store some jewelry in or just as a very neutral piece of decor. The last thing that I've got is this print. This used to be elsewhere in my house and I thought that I would just recycle it and use it here instead. So as you can see, definitely still sticking with the modern black and white theme and keeping it really beautiful and minimal. So this is a quick update of how it's looking and I kind of think that the Kmart faux shell dish might be a little bit too big because I do still need to fit my new lamp on this spot as well. I was just sort of testing out the different decor items I had. so. I'm really, really happy with everything else, but I have a feeling that that shell dish might need to go elsewhere in my home or potentially even be returned because I just think it is a little bit too big. I don't know. It does kind of look cool as I'm looking at it though. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, but I'm going to add the lamp to this now and then we can see the finished product. This was the piece of decor that I have most been waiting for and it's called the Kosh Lamp from Freedom. So I'm super excited to open this up and show you guys. I feel like this this mushroom kind of style of lamp is super on trend at the moment but I can also see a piece like this being a little bit of an investment not that it was expensive this was literally only $60 I have definitely seen cheaper versions around but sometimes you just got to buy the real thing because otherwise they just are not as good quality but I've got mine in a beautiful dark green color to kind of match this throw blanket on my bed. And I just think this will be a real classic that actually won't go look too dated kind of thing, like some sort of home decor seems to after a little while. So let's open it up and put it together and we can pop it over on the side table as well.
jump on over to my bed and change the mattress, which is definitely the biggest job of today. But thankfully the one that I got is in a box. So it's like the mattress in a box thing where you can kind of just roll it out and then it will just kind of spring up itself. So I don't kind of have to drag the whole big thing over, which will help me a little bit. And I also got a new pillow, which I didn't realize it had been quite some time since I'd swapped over my pillow. And I know for like various health reasons, we're meant to swap our pillows probably more frequently than we all do. So super excited to swap that over and have a beautiful fresh pillow. And that will really go well with my lovely silk pillowcases as well. These gorgeous bedroom upgrades have actually been gifted to me. So I'd love to introduce you guys to today's video sponsor, which is Emma Sleep. So likeness in name, which is quite funny, but also likeness in values of really good quality products and comfort. So this is the box for the pillow and they actually have a huge Easter sale going on right now. So they have 50% off absolutely everything site wide. And if you jump on there, you'll see the promo runs from April 4th to April 18th at emmasleep.com.au. And all of those details will be left in the description box down below. I also have a personalized discount code, which is Emma Caitlin, and you can use that to get an extra 5% off during this Easter period. First thing I'm swapping over is the Emma foam pillow. This is customizable for maximum comfort, ergonomic for every sleeping position. It is breathable and hypoallergenic and the size is 70 centimeters by 40 centimeters. One of the great things about Emma Sleep is they offer a 100 night trial, which is truly the best way to find out if a mattress or pillow is right for you from the comfort of your own home. That's why they give you 100 nights to test your Emma Sleep products. And if you decide it's not right, you can send it back free of charge. The Emma Comfort mattress was the top scoring mattress 2021 by choice. And that is exactly why I cannot wait to sleep on this tonight. I think it is just going to be such an upgrade from my current mattress. And one of the huge reasons why I wanted to upgrade my mattress is because I have just been sleeping in this by myself for quite a number of years. And since being with my partner and us spending most of our weekends at my place now, due to the fact that I have a queen bed and we're both quite tall, it's just got a lot of dips in it. So I wanted something a little bit firmer so that we can both get a really good night's sleep. And if the other person is getting out of the bed, I'm not totally disrupting him by jumping up and down, like going getting glasses of water or going to the bathroom in the middle of the night, which definitely happens when your mattress starts to sag. So that's how I knew I was time for an upgrade. And I guess if you guys are due for a similar upgrade as well, then it's a really great time to jump on and use the discount code because it is such a massive sale. The Emma Comfort mattress also uses innovative air gazelle, which regulates your temperature. And that is something that is a massive upgrade from my current latex mattress, which actually sleeps a bit hot. And if you have anything like this in your home, you probably know what I'm talking about because just during summer, it actually feels like it's warming up with my body temperature. And that's literally the total opposite of what I want in a mattress. And it's something that has bothered me ever since I actually initially bought this mattress. But due to the fact that it was so expensive and I bought it from a store, I wasn't able to return it. So that is a, another huge reason why Emma Sleep is so great because of that 100 night trial. If you wanna learn more about the Emma Sleep range, like I said, I've got my discount code, which is Emma Caitlin, and you guys can jump into the description box down down below and head on over and have a look while they've got it all on sale. Okay, so let's make these little oatmeal cookies. I'm gonna show you through step-by-step step all of the ingredients and like the quantities and things that I use. And this will usually make like, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 12 cookies. And they are so delicious, reasonably healthy aside from like probably the sugar, but I substitute with coconut sugar and stuff anyway. And they only take like 10 minutes to cook. So pretty much anyone can make these. They are super, super easy. You could add in a ton of different stuff if you really wanted to get creative, but let's get to it. All right, these are all the ingredients you need at a glance. So I use half a tub of this Lurpak spreadable butter. So 125 grams of that. Um, usually bring it to room temperature as well, just so it will like melt in easier. Uh, I have some of these little collagen sachets left over from a collab that I did. So I usually add one of these in because these go really well in smoothies or coffee and things as well, because it's just a flavorless collagen. And I just think using things like that in baking is a really easy way to get it in. I also add in some black chia seeds for protein. This is the sugar that I'll be using. So I've got organic unrefined coconut sugar. I have my oats, which are just standard um, rolled oats. You can just get them from Woolies or Coles or wherever. And you'll need a little bit of baking powder, 
one egg, uh, some maple syrup. Mine's almost run out, but that should be enough basically just to get through this. And I use this sugar-free one just to make it a little bit healthier as well. I've also got some plain flour. And lastly, I use currants in mine. You could definitely put in like chalk chips or I don't know, little slivers of almonds or something else if you wanted to, but this is how I think it tastes best. So I'm gonna grab out a really big mixing bowl and we can put all of that together. slightly overcooked them because I wasn't really paying attention while I've been doing everything else but they will be absolutely delicious and I might just make an afternoon coffee now and sit down and have one of these as well. Alrighty, that is it for my little bedroom refresh. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and as always I will link as much stuff as I can in the description box down below including the mattress from Emma Sleep which I am so excited to sleep on tonight. I've had my other mattress for around about five years now so it was probably definitely due for an upgrade and I just think it's going to be so comfortable. My partner has been nagging me for the longest time so he'll be really happy as well and I'm also so obsessed with little Kosh mushroom legs. They come in about five other colors, so even if you didn't like that one, but you thought it was really cute, I think there's tons more. I just ordered mine online and waited to go and click and collect it in store at Freedom. But anyway, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.